Fogo de Chao recently opened its fourth Chicago area location in Oak Brook. The new location features new cocktails, new menu innovation, and an expansive patio. Here in our Studio 41 kitchen with more details and a look at a few of their dishes is General Manager Nasco Angelo Fun. and back of house manager Camilo Lopera. Thank you both for being here. Thank you for having us. Thank We're really excited. So this fun. is really going to be the hub for Fogo de Chao. You guys, explain about this innovation center you guys are going to be doing. Sure. So what we call it is a center of excellence, where which means that all of our new cocktails, all the new dishes, they're going to be originally tested in Oak Brook. That way, if, when our guests love them, we can bring them out to the rest of the nation. So, oh, that yeah. is amazing. So Pretty you cool. are known for your vast array of meats, but you are adding to the menu. Yep, we are adding different types of bar food, bar bites, new cocktails that are crafted right into the re right in the restaurant at the bar, and then we have different types of dishes, and including some of our signature dishes here today. All right, so what do you mean? Yeah. yeah. Great. <laughs> so Same today, thing. Sure. So we have the Brazilian. Uh, it's going to be Brazilian sausage and apple stuffing, and then over here we have our signature pound de queijo, which is cheese bread. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started over here. The first thing that we're going to take is Camilo is going to be cooking for us. So he's going to take half a cup of vegetable oil there and go ahead and place it in that saucepan. And then right after, we're going to put the Brazilian sausage. So we've already gone ahead and uh, removed the casing and diced it for y'all. And what you do is you go ahead and take it out, put it in the saucepan. It is going to take about three minutes to get ready. So in the meantime, I'm going to go over all the other ingredients so that way we can add them in later on. Okay. okay. Oh, can I ask yes. you about the Brazilian sausage? What yes. makes it Brazilian yeah, versus what we've known Italian sausage? Sure. So it, it is a little bit spicier, and mm -hmm. we, we use different types of signature ingredients when, the, when we're preparing them. And so it's just a little bit, I guess it would be a little bit spicier than a regular oh. sausage. Okay. We kind of coil it at the table when it comes table side for you. Okay. Um, okay. okay. So here in front of us, we have three cups of diced onions. We've already gone ahead and diced them for you. He's going to add them in just a moment here. We have two cups of celery, and then we have minced garlic. It's going to be a quarter cup, okay? So Camilo is going to start adding these items one by one, and I'm going to go over the rest. We've gone ahead and we have two cups of Granny Smith apples. So the first part is you oh. peel them, and then you go ahead and dice them. So we have them diced here for you already. And then the other thing is we have a uh, half tablespoon of poultry, uh, poultry seasoning, one tablespoon of uh, kosher salt. We have a chicken broth that we've already prepared, uh, uh, some croutons, and finally parsley. So once we add, we, uh, we add the garlic and onion and celery, what you wait for is for the onion to be a little soft, okay? Down a little bit, yeah. Yep, soften it up. So once that's happened, we start to add the apples next. So he's going to continue mixing them here. See, this is what I usually am familiar with when you call, talk about dressing. Yes, yes. Um, except for the meat, but this is really the basis of what I'm familiar with with dressing. Sure. Me too. Me and too. we do offer this seasonally in the restaurant, so mm. it's going to be up at the market table, and you can go ahead and help yourself to a serving. Or if you request that, we can just go ahead and bring it to you table side. Okay. So this, that's kind of how we offer it in the restaurant. Alrighty, so he's adding the apples there. I also noticed you have several bottles of wine. I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So this this box here is the Trilogy Wine Box. It's something that we offer in the restaurant as well. It's actually made off our, our founders. So you've got Elulila at the corner there. That's uh, her name is Salma. She's the one that kind of helps you. We call her the matriarch at Fogo. She kind of helped cultivate her brand. In the center there, we have George Own. He's one of the founders. And then at the corner there, we have Oleon. So he was, uh, which is uh, a tribute to Larry Johnson, who was previously our CEO, and now he's uh, chairman of the board at Fogo. Okay. So you can purchase this at the restaurant as a complete set uh, at, after your dining experience, or, in, or you can enjoy the bottles individually in the restaurant as well. Oh, that's okay, fantastic. Good. Yeah. Alrighty. Camilo has gone ahead and added all those items there. And then finally, the last part is he's going to add the chicken broth. Once. It looks so good. Yeah, it does. Oh, my goodness. Making you hungry? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very much so. I love stuff. And is this considered a, a main dish because you are adding the Brazilian sausage? Um, or? No, it's something that you might have. Well, you can have it just as a dish if you, if you would like to. That's mm -hmm. the great thing about Fogo. It's you get to experience in, uh, at your own pace or however you'd like to enjoy the experience. And you can discover many items at the market table or right table side. Mm -hmm. But um, typically, you might have this with different cuts of meat. Okay. So, okay. Yep. So the last part here is we're going to go ahead and add the croutons. And so the objective here is when you put them inside, you want them to soften. Okay. Soften. There we go. And then the last piece here is the parsley as well. Fresh parsley. Mm -hmm. Yep. So typically while you're doing this, you would have preheated the oven to 350 degrees. 
And once we're all through with this, we're gonna put it in a different type of pan. Oh, Camille's adding the parsley there. And we're gonna take it and put it into the oven. So just uh, in the spirit of magic TV of magic, TV, yes. yep, we already have one prepared here. Absolutely. So after, yep, after it's been in the oven for anywhere between 25 and 30 minutes at 35, uh, 350 degrees, you're gonna have this here, okay? okay? We've only got about a minute left. Are you gonna make it another dish? Yep, we're gonna do it quickly. Okay. Okay, so. All right, I'm gonna have Camila come over here, switch with me. And he's gonna put all of the wet ingredients first. This is pound de cajou, it's our cheese bread in our restaurant. Mm -hmm. So he's gonna start with a cup of oil, two whole eggs, we're gonna do this a little quickly here, and then finally, uh, two cups of milk, okay? Ooh. And this is the basis for the bread or the cheese? For the bread. And oh, okay. what's great about this, we use a yuca flour that he's gonna put in just a moment. Once we've blended this all together, you're gonna put in yuca flour, which is gluten-free, which is great for at home. And then we're just gonna kinda add these quickly so we can get through um, the part where we pour it into the muffin tra tray. So he's gonna go ahead and put it all in. Here we have grated Parmesan, and then we have a shredded mozzarella, and then we have a tablespoon of salt. Oh, you bake it with the cheese inside. You do, oh, that's yes. correct, Got that's it. correct. Mm. Yum. Alrighty. So we're gonna add all these ingredients. Well, I'm sure you guys have a finished one too, so why don't you grab that yeah, so we can see the final one. I want to make sure everyone gets the yep. information about the, the new yep. location um, as well, because I think we have a full screen for that. Sure. The last little piece is you uh, spray it and put uh, put this uh, dough inside the muffin tray, put it in the oven, and then here you are as the finished product once you're through. Oh, Perfect. So. All right, so there is all the information for the new Oak Brook location, uh, social media handles as well. Gentlemen, thank you for joining thank us, you. and the bread looks fantastic. Thank Absolutely. you so much for having us. You're going to have to try it. Oh, Yum. yeah, that's delicious. So and it's gluten-free, too. Gluten Absolutely. Thanks, Thank guys. you. Thank you.